So this is how the Tableau Cloud console looks like. You can easily sign up using your email and get a free trial for 14 days. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click on new and select a workbook. And you will get the option of uploading your dataset from your computer. So just select that file and wait for it to upload. Now that our data has been uploaded, we can simply interpret the data, meaning we can clean our Excel file by checking mark this option. So here, we can see our cleaned data. We can see the observation date, the province, country, and all other fields. So let's go on to our sheet number one to create some visuals. So in our first scenario, we will be creating visuals for the total number of confirmed cases around the world. So to do that, we will drag the two tables, which will be confirmed cases and the country or the region table. This will automatically generate the longitude and the latitude in the columns and rows. We will click on show me and here you can see that we have a lot of different ways to present our data. But for now, we will be selecting maps. If we hover over the maps, we can see that the country and the cases confirmed in the country. Let's add some colors to this map. Click on some and select colors. There you go. Some colors have been added according to the number of cases. To make that easier to understand, we will edit the colors and select the red, green, white diverging from the color palette. Just click on reverse so that if you have more cases that it will show red and if you have less cases then it will have green. And there you go. We can see the color coding on the map. Let's rename the sheet as confirmed cases and select OK. Let's go on to another sheet. Here, we are going to add a filter to see the confirmed cases in Pakistan. We will add the confirmed cases along with the country or region and then we will drag the country table into our filters. We will uncheck all the options and search for Pakistan and click mark that. Press OK. Bring in the province in the row as well so we can have a better picture in the table. Let's rename the sheet as Confirmed Cases in Pakistan. Click on the Show Me to turn this table into some sort of graph. Here, I selected the horizontal bar charts, but I think that the vertical chart fits better. And there will be confirmed cases in Pakistan with each state. Let's go on and duplicate this sheet and create a pie chart for recovered cases in Pakistan. Simply click on show me and then select pie chart and you can see that your pie chart is ready. Now to fit better to our page, we'll adjust it by clicking here and select the entire view. Right now, our pie chart is showing us label of the number of recovered cases in Pakistan. Let's change that and we want to see the labels of our province. So we will simply drag and drop our province in the label. And you can see that now the pie chart is labeled by the province. We can do the same if you want to label our charts with the number of recovered cases too. Let's duplicate this sheet as well to see the number of deaths in Pakistan. So we will drag our province in the rows and then from show me menu, we will select bubble chart. And to add in colors, we need to drag the province and drop it into our color marks. Now we can see that the states in Pakistan, we can also see the key for the colors for the province or the state on the right side. Let's create another sheet to see the trend line for the COVID cases. So we will drag and drop the last update in the columns. But before that, we need to make sure that the last update field is in the correct format, which is the date and time. Select the confirmed cases in the rows. And you can see that we can view our cases year-wise, which is 2020 and 2021. And change it to quarterly. Press again to see the monthly updates. Let's rename the sheet as trend line. Now let's make a trend line on the graph. We need a linear graph here. So to do that, we need to go on to analytics, 
and drag the trend line from the model and drop it to linear. Now you can see that we are having a problem here and that is because we have a day in the last update in our column. And the reason for that is that we cannot have a linear line for the point on the graph. So just remove that. And you will be able to see that your linear line along with the trend line. And if you hover over to the linear line, we can see the R squared and the P squared value calculated. So to find the variation in COVID-19 cases, we need a box and whisker chart. We need to select the country and the number of confirmed cases here, but we need the confirmed cases as our rows. So now if we go on to our show me menu, then we will select the box and whisker graph. Let's remove our longitude and latitude that were automatically generated. So you can see that we have only one box and whisker chart here. So whenever you have something like this happening to your sheet, just simply go on to analysis and untick the aggregated measures. So there we have a visualization. Let's just sort it descending by confirmed within the country or region. There we have it. Now let's just rename the sheet as variation in COVID-19. And that's the end of our hands-on session. Thank you so much for watching.